Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem, we are required to determine the forces in DE and DL member of this given truss, right? So first, I will solve. Uh, I will find this DE force by using the method of uh, section, right? So what we need to do is that we need to pass a cutting section, and that cutting cutting section need to divide this truss into two parts, right? into two separate parts right so if we pass a cutting section from this de this dl this cl and this lm right so then we will be considering this right side of this truss right so uh, we are considering this right side so then uh, to consider this right side we will have this de member force let's say which is acting away from this e joint let's say this is de this is our DL member force this one is CL and this one is LM right and let me remove the remaining truss right so we are considering this free body diagram right now right so now if I apply the summation of moment about point L equals to zero, right? As we can see that this DL force, this CL force, and this LM force, they are passing through this point L. So they will not be able to produce the moment about this point L, right? So the only unknown force will be DE if we want to apply the summation of moment about this L, uh, L point, right? About this joint L. So let's say that the counterclockwise moment is positive, right? So now as we can see that this DE is producing the counterclockwise moment about this point L right so we can write that DE and the perpendicular distance of this DE from that point L is this 2 meters this is given right so we will multiply this with 2 and this is producing counterclockwise moment so we will write plus similarly this 8 kN force which is given it is producing the clockwise moment about this point L right so I will write 8 and it is producing clockwise moment so we will write minus and the perpendicular distance of this 8 kN force from that point L is this 2 meters plus 2 meters plus 2 meters, right? So this is 6. So we will multiply it with 6. So this will be equal to 0. So from this DE member force is equal to 6 into 8 divided by 2. So this DE member force is equal to 24 kN. And since it is acting away from the joint E, so this means that this is the tension force, right? So this is the DE member force which was required. Now we are required to find the DL member force, right? So now if, if I consider joint D, and if I consider joint D and I solve the remaining problem by using method of joints, right? So let me consider this joint D now right so let me draw the free body diagram of that joint D so we have to separate that joint D and its uh, related forces right so as we know that this DE force is the tension force so it will be acting away from this joint D right and let's say that that this CD force is also acting away from this joint D right and let's say that this dl member force is compressive force let's say that it is acting towards this joint d right so i will write that this is dl force and this one is cd force let me write that this is cd and this one is de which is known right this is 24 kilo newton now as we can see that if i join this point and if if we look into this triangle so then if this 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 length is two meters and this length is this DE member is equal to 2 meters right so as we can see that if this is 2 meters and this is 2 meters so then this means that this angle is 45 degrees right if we apply 10 theta so 10 theta will be equal to 2 by 2 so 10 theta will be equal to 1 and 10 inverse of 1 is 45 degrees right so this means that this DL force is making 45 degrees with this CD force right so then if if we solve it by using the method of joints right so then we will write that at joint d if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero 
at joint D. And if this is our positive direction, right? So now as we can see that this DE force is acting in the positive direction. So I will write plus DE and DE is 24 kilo Newton. And then this DL force will have one component which will be acting in this direction, right? We can say that that DL force will have one component which will be acting in the negative x direction. So you will write minus and if this is 45 degrees, so then this component will be this component will be the sine component of this DL, right? So we will write DL sine of 45 degrees and this will be equal to zero, right? So from this we can find DL. So DL will be equal to minus 24 divided by minus sine of 45 degrees. So from this DL equals to 33.9 kilonewton. And since this DL is acting towards joint D, so this means that this is the compressive force, right? So this is the solution of this particular problem.